Hello Cancer, welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber. If you're new, welcome, I hope you enjoy the reading. Uh, this is a general life reading uh, for your sign. Um, I've already shuffled and laid out the cards. Please don't forget to like and share or like and subscribe as that does help to move the uh, videos around YouTube. Okay, so um, we've got here, uh, it seems to me we've got the uh, 11th house coming in. I'm going to start here. Um, 11th house is everything to do with the future. So you've also got the future card here, um, which rules the, uh, you know, this, this, the house and the sign are together normally uh, in the zodiac. So the future is really, really huge uh, for you at this time. Um, but you also maybe it's maybe to do with uh, friendships, but it's also uh, probably to do with contacts and networks or group activities of all kinds. Uh, but it's also your hopes, your dreams, your vision for yourself. Um, you know, what you're visioning or what you have visioned uh, for yourself. Um, it's also about, um, you know, your place in the future, what you're seeing. Um, it could also be li linked to hobbies and interests that you have as well, which may come up. But um, it's got a very um, futuristic bent uh, to it. It's, it's got a lot of um, aspects of discovery and innovation uh, attached to it, uh, experimentation and so on. Um, also, foreign concepts may be coming in or foreign people or cutting edge things like advanced technology or more advanced technology than what you have currently around you. Or you may be learning a new system. It's all about new things. Um, now, we've got here um, Aquarius underneath. So this is a double whammy. Um, <clears throat> but I think I feel that in this situation, I feel it's that you are looking ahead. You're looking at the future. You're looking at aspects around global consciousness. Um, humanitarian issues um, and social reform um, and also, you know, um, aspects of group consciousness associated with that. Now, um, trends, you know, movements in society and what people are doing or what's popular. So you could very well be um, accessing technology to read data or to understand better the movement of people and what is occurring. Um, but this also could be very much connected to your place uh, you know, and looking around you at this time and just I feel that you are looking at things and you're just not happy with the way things are going. A lot of people in the world are not happy about the way things are unfolding and they're taking action. So I feel this is about taking action in some way uh, because with the Aquarius card coming into its own house, this is very much about that. It's about um, standing up for your rights and for being very clear about that. So this may be um, signing proposals or petitions or um, getting involved in movements or activities around that social reform um, and the future and which way things are going. And it may have a technological uh, bent, as I said, but it could also be travel related. Um, there's lots of ways that this can be coming in. It could also be that you may be connecting or want to connect with others that are different from yourself in some way. Now, this could be that they are a different form of society. Um, they could be a different um, a sexual orientation to yourself. They could be very different, but they could also be uh, different from a foreign concept. So this, you, you may be going or mixing or moving even to a place which is foreign. Um, or just different from what you are used to. Um, and you may be meeting others who are from other countries or mixing with people, you know, a variety of different types of uh, uh, people or places or concepts, cultures, all of that. OK, all of that may be coming in for you. But I feel it's about it's about you may be looking for a place that uh, is going to be better suited for your current situation or what you envision for yourself going forward because you've got the fourth house here. Fourth house is always about your home, where you are currently residing, the actual physical structure, uh, but it's always the atmosphere in the home and you know changes to the home of some sort. It's also connected to your family history and your connection to your family. So it could be that you may be just looking at things as where, where you are currently and just not seeing what it is that you want to create or you're just not seeing what it is you, you know, you you're just not gelling with what is going on around you. So you're either relocating or you are changing something about your environment um, or you may have family situations which are occurring that are going to change things in some way, shape or form here. But 
this is very much about also, um, if it's not about that, it could also be about launching an idea of some sort or getting involved in futuristic ideas or new ideas, new technology or something like that. Friends and associates or acquaintances around you may very well come in to assist you with that uh, because this can be very supportive. All right. It could also be that your friends or friendships are changing at this time, either because you are relocating or because you simply don't have enough in common with them anymore. So this could be that you have, are moving, you're not resonating with them anymore, or you are not resonating with groups and associations or societies or activities, you know, amongst others where you used to take part. Now you're just not resonating with that anymore. Um, and you may be uh, sort of pulling yourself back emotionally and taking a very um, detached view of certain things. Um, to get perspective, you know, uh, as I said, Aquarius can also cover travel um, and that may be associated with that, all of that coming into play. With Athena, we've got inner wisdom. It says, you know what to do, trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So I feel this is about taking a stand in some way or just saying, well, I've had enough. OK, this is what we're going to do. Um, or you are constant. You, you're trying to work out what is you're trying to look forward into the future to figure out what it is that you need to do. But this is saying you actually already know. You already know on a deep level. And being a Cancerian, you will know. Your um, your inner life, you know, your uh, instincts and your intuitions are very, very strong. So you'll know what to do. Um, there's a full moon there. There's an owl and there's um, the wings of angels. Um, I feel so you need to be tapping into your inner, your own inner wisdom, but also you're listening to your higher self. And going with your gut, okay, or whatever it is, however you navigate normally. Um, there's communication involved here. Uh, Pegasus has got wings, so this is about movement of some sort, I feel, as well. But full moon is coming <clears throat> in here. Um, it's also um, <clears throat> it's also coming in on another card you've got, mm. so that may be appropriate for you. May it may trigger something for you. Uh, Venus goes retrograde on the same day, and Venus is in Capricorn. Capricorn is opposite Cancer, so very there could be some sort of trigger event which is occurring, um, and uh, this is going to push you forward in some way. But I feel that <clears throat> once you decide what do you want, or which direction you want to go in, or when you um, once you start um, putting your foot down or being very firm about what it is that you're you're wanting out of your future, once you once you make that decision, I feel all kinds of things are going to come in um, to move you forward. Um, we have also got here seven of spring. Be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for yourself. So this could be, as I said, to do with these like your human rights or you know social reform or um, issues around that. Um, and issues around where you need to be and what you need to be doing. Um, and, um, you know, this is like signing petitions. This is standing up for your rights, being very assertive about what it is that you believe in and what is right for you. OK, and it may be coming in to do with where you are living currently. So all of these, but Seven of Spring is taking action in this regard um, and being very assertive. All right. So I feel once you've figured out what it is that you want and you're going with your instincts here, then you will know what to do. Um, there's some sort of trigger event occurring here, um, whether this is to do with this house where you're discerning the future and then you've got other aspects to go through. But um, you've got a Grand Cross coming in here, which is a pr provoker energy. So Grand Cross is four very strong um, hard angles in the chart. It's not a very common um, occurrence. Um, so this will, this will be something which is really going to push you. This is going to push you for movement and for change. It's going to put you under intense pressure. Now, this diamonds are made under this kind of pressure. Okay, so imagine that even when you're struggling or when you're feeling that lots of things are coming at you all at once or things, lots of things are happening all at once. Um, and you may just be under pressure from multiple angles, all right? And there's almost like a competitive energy. You've got so much going on, you don't know which way to turn, or you are juggling. It could be multiple opportunities um, opening up for you. You just, you, you, you need to, you need to, you're trying to harness them all, um, and it kind of puts you under that intense pressure. Um, so it's either about using all your talents and skills and abilities to, to make the most of everything that is coming at you, or it could be very pressurized. Um, for you to be making decisions. Um, and once you're making those decisions, more things come rolling at you. Um, and it's, it's all about your priorities, your time management, um, and, um, you know, 
uh, communication, communications with others. It's also about um, managing your um, managing your time in association with these priorities or with these things which are coming up to be dealt with, uh, you know, all of these different things. Um, but it's going to build up stamina. It's going to build up um, real inner strength. This. And whatever you learn during this process is going to stand you in very, very good stead. You're going to learn a lot from this. So whether you're moving country or you're changing your home um, or you are rearranging certain aspects of your life, there's a lot um, coming at you. Once I feel once you've made that decision or a trigger event occurs, then you're going to have this. But all is not lost because once you get control of your time, your energy um, and your schedule um, and really buckle down, this is about discipline as well, being very disciplined. OK, once you start doing that um, and you get control of your environment and you're managing things like that, I feel you will move ahead very quickly and you will know what you've got to do. Um, um, or you'll be able to multiple, you'll be able to multitask uh, pretty much, okay? But it will put you under pressure. There may be some frustrations as well. Um, almost like you'd no sooner sort, sort something out than another thing comes out uh, to, you know, to another hurdle. So it's got that kind of energy uh, with it as well. Now, um, having said this, we have got the fourth house coming in. So fourth house is to do with your home, your actual physical structure, or it could be where you are currently residing um, or you, where you are currently living. Um, it can also be to do with um, the atmosphere in the home or the people in your home. So this could be family related or it could just be that you may be sharing with others or you are just, um, you know, doing something to do with your actual physical home, whether this this could be renovations. Uh, but I feel this is some sort of shift or change coming in for you, which is going to um, change your environment. It can also be to do with um, family. This is your connection with your roots, your foundation, your ancestry, your ethnic identity, um, and your you know your your foundations that you grew up with, where you came from, um, and your relationship to everything to do with that. All right. So um, it can also be your um, like where you go uh, when you want to retreat uh, or you want to you know be your your home is your castle. That's kind of what the energy. But family comes in very strongly. It can also be to do with. Um, fourth house can also be to do with actual real estate or homes or property, land, that sort of thing, if that is connected to your um, your actual foundation. Now, at the bottom, we've got um, Jupiter return benefits. And at the top, you've got Isha Medicine Woman. There's a lot of blue here. So I'm feeling this is to do with communication This or this is to do with an idea. Um, so, but in any case, Jupiter return um, happens uh, once every 12 years. So this could be an idea or a project that you wanted to do, or it could be somewhere that you wanted to live, um, or perhaps you have lived there in the past and you moved away from it or you changed your environment um, or the idea that you had or the um, proposal or the uh, project that you were working on um, just didn't happen or it got shelved um, uh, or it got forgotten. You know, um, but it could also be like an idea or something that you've always wanted to do. And this can go back, as I said, up to 12 years back. It could be sooner, but it's normally it's, it's, it's a, a fair bit of time. Um, this something is going to come back and bear fruit. Now, this could also be an investment, obviously, uh, because Jupiter brings benefits, but it's normally something bears fruit. So whether it's something that you've invested in and it's now going to bear fruit or whether it's an idea or something that you wanted to do or somewhere that you wanted to live or whatever the situation is. Something is going to bear fruit. Something is going to come back to you in some way, shape or form, and it's going to bring benefits for you. Um, it could also just be a want or a need, you know, that you wanted at, at one point. Um, and it's connected to your roots, your foundation and your home or where you're living or where you want to live, you know. Uh, but it's a very beneficial card. But it is also, um, a, a, it's, it's earned luck. That is what Jupiter return is, earned luck. So this is something that you put effort into or something that you longed for or wanted or tried to do before, okay. Um, but whatever comes up, um, you, you're gonna, you may be presented with more than one opportunity, but they come quickly. Jupiter's rapid, okay? It's a rapid movement, rapid, something rises up. So whatever opportunities come up in this regard, follow them. Go after them. May not, they may not all work out, but one of them will, or maybe two or three or however many. Just, you know, like I said, you're going to have a lot going on. So this is rapid. It's, it's, it's going to come in. Uh, it could land right in your lap. 
Um, it's going to bring joy, happiness, balance, freedom, uh, if that is appropriate for you, or relief or rescue. Something could be rescued from the fire as well, because this has got a kind of a rejuvenation um, aspect to it as well. So something very good coming in there for you. And with the Ishel, I feel it's to do also with communication. Okay, so something um, that needs to be expressed or you are having discussions or whatever it may be. Medicine woman is always a healing energy, but it can also be about guidance. And I feel because you're a Cancerian, you're going to be needing this guidance. Okay, you're going to need to be discerning what your inner wisdom is. All right, so that you know what to do. Um, but this could also be applying, applying healing in some form to your family, to your family history, your ancestry or your ethnic identity. Um, you could be going back to a country or a place that you used to live in. OK, something like that. It could also be that you are bringing healing with you or you are channeling healing energy down into your home or into your family situation. Um, it could also be, um, you know, that your home is your you influence others there in some way, shape or form. So you may have a home business or you may want to start a home business or maybe you did have, you know, and now you're going back to it. But um, you, this is about putting up your divining rod and channeling the power down from heaven or from from the universe you know um, it's coming down it's a very strong connection and this is saying that you have this healing power in whatever way it may it may just be through speaking or your expression or the way you do things or your connection with your family you know building a very solid foundation or you may be providing ancestral healing for your family line you know there's a number of ways that this can come in but there's something coming in which is going to be very beneficial for you but you need to grasp it quickly it's also please don't go overboard with this energy sometimes you can go overboard it might be a spending thing you might get a windfall or abundance of some sort um you know make good use of this opportunity or this windfall or this support or gift or reward or investment or whatever it is okay make good use of it you're going to have to steer this energy you can't just let it run by itself you're going to have to steer it and you're going to have to see it right through to the end so finish whatever you start under this energy now um having said all this there is some aspect coming in for the 12th house which is um i feel with this aspect going on it's either to do with your looking to the future and letting go of the past because you've got a lot of future energy here but it's also about social reform and the movement of society and what's unfolding around you global consciousness group consciousness and so on but there's some aspects that have to be let go of now it could also be family related it could be family related you've got the 12th house here which is everything to do with the unconscious so whatever is sitting in your unconscious now this aspect rules about 90 percent of our lives it's what's going on under the surface of you so it's your motive your hidden motivations your complexities your traumas anything you suppress um, it's also your own ideas, your own spirituality. It's your imagination. It's your inspiration. So it's got this beautiful spiritual aspect to it. It's also about your dreams, you know. Um, but it's it's a wonderful spiritual uh, connection. Um, it's about compassion um, and uh, all of these aspects coming in. But it is also about um, dealing with things that have been under the surface or things that have been lingering from a long time ago. Now, this could be karma from past lives, but it can also be things that you've gathered during this lifetime or aspects to do with your ancestry or your family or where you have current you've been living. Um, and it's all to do with forgiveness. OK, forgiveness comes in under the 12th house. Now, um, this is a double whammy because you've got South Node and this can very much be about uh, forgiveness. It's also about dropping baggage or letting go of the past. You need to do this so that you can move forward into the future. OK, you, you can't take whatever you're suppressing or whatever is sitting under the surface. You can't take it with you. OK, it's going to weigh you down and you will not be able to take advantage of this gateway. You need to let go of whatever is sitting there, needs to be expressed or worked through or sorted out. But forgiveness is going to be really key because it's the 12th house and it's the south, south node. And here it mentioned again. So this is three times now. So whatever it is, do a forgiveness ritual, whether it's a person or a situation or a, some other kind of um, um, aspect of your life, whether it's karmic, it could be to do with, as I said, a past life. So you may need a past life reading, whatever is uh, appropriate for you. But you may very well know exactly what it is. OK, just apply forgiveness, release yourself, give yourself freedom from being chained to that experience or to that person. Um, apply forgiveness, forgive yourself from 
from that whole situation. Um, you know, you, you at that time was handling it in the way that you thought uh, was appropriate, but you're older now or you're different now, you've changed now, and you don't need to be chained to that anymore. It's actually holding you back. So apply forgiveness to yourself, let it go. And, um, you know, apply forgiveness ritual to either the situation or to the person, whatever it is, doesn't mean that, um, you know, they're not accountable for what happened, um, but you are releasing yourself from that situation. You don't want that ruling your life any longer okay because what happens with this when there's unforgiveness your energy gets trapped there and it stays there for however long until you deal with it and this drains your energy it ages you it saps your energy it makes you sick makes you tired um so once you once you apply the forgiveness ritual and and forgive yourself and let it go it will release and that energy will then come back to you and then you can use it to move forward with whatever else you want to do but it will give you forgiveness it will give you freedom the south node can also be about emotional baggage it can also be about physical things letting go of physical things but the 12th house is normally spiritual and emotional and it's to do with um emotional um imbalance okay but it can also be spiritual development it can also be um things aspects of prayer so saying a prayer of forgiveness you know um however it comes in for you and it could also be um, a, some some kind of addictive behavior that you have, whatever it may be, um, and maybe you need to let go of that. Um, so this could be an addictive behavior or an addictive um, mindset. You could be addicted to drama, or you could be addicted to worry, um, or you could be addicted to media, too much media, um, or you could just be clinging onto something which has long passed, uh, and, and you know it's actually holding you back. It's like it's gone past its sell-by date. You know, you need to move on. You need to outgrow it and move on. And it's part of your development. Whatever is appropriate, however it comes in for you, let go of the baggage because you've got a beautiful card at the top. Lakshmi, bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. So you could be really deep in negativity about something and she's assuring you that you've got a bright future. There's a beautiful sun rising there. She is a very abundant goddess and you've got Jupiter return here. OK, so whether this is to do with family forgiveness um, or something associated with that, um, you know, it could be something that was happened in the past and you're now doing the forgiveness and letting it go. And all of a sudden that releases some karmic cycle for you and you could have all that energy or that abundance or that support or that whatever it is that being held back may come back to you because of this because of this ritual. Take it as it resonates, but bright future, stop worrying, um, let go of negativity and let go of worry because all worry does is draw the thing that you're worrying about to you, okay? That's what it does. It's a very negative energy um, and it just, again, it saps your energy, it saps your 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 um, vitality. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. Let it go. You know, stay in the present moment. Okay, don't go back and don't go into the past because then that makes you depressed and don't spend too much time in the future because that makes you anxious. You have got future aspects coming in here, but always come back to the present moment and that is where you will make the most powerful decisions. All right. So that is coming in for you. And I feel once you once you've done this and put these pieces in place, then you're going to have a brand new beginning coming in for you. Because we've got here Astara, whether this is to do with changing your place where you're living or where you're, or your country or your, wherever it is that you are and moving forward or changing something within your home. You're, you're changing something that is going to improve your situation. Or it could also be to do with family. But Astara fertility is coming in. It's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas and give birth to new conditions. All right. So this is also the Jupiter return, but it's very much letting go of the past and this Aquarius energy is going to carry you into the future to, to fulfill your vision for yourself. Um, so the fertility is, is very abundant energy. There's, the flowers are blooming. There's bunnies there. A star is always associated with Easter. So it may be that whatever you start putting into place here may come in or have, um, reach you or give you um, your fulfillment uh, around that time. Uh, of the year next year um, but it could also be any time where the light is starting to um, be brighter um, and you know the first blossoms start coming out so it could even be early spring um, 
or, you know, depending on where you are in the world. But this is a brighter energy. Anything where the light is becoming brighter, then um, th this is starting to manifest for you. But a very, very abundant energy um, and, um, you know, very, very nice energy, very productive energy. It's about manifestation and starting new things, new cycles, new life. Um, and then finally, we've got here, bottom of the fairy tarot is Ten of Summer, which is really the ultimate of the of this um, of this whole energy it's everything to do it's, it's pretty much fulfillment um, you can't really get much better than the ten of summer which is basically the ten of cups so this is an emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends raising children wisely people you can trust so whether you're moving away from where you are currently and you're going back to a place or you're starting fresh somewhere um, whatever it is um, you're going to be you're going to be attracting this to you once you do this forgiveness and let go of the past um, and then you're going to open the gate you're going to open the doors to this but this is work you're going to be working at it you're going to be working at it and there's going to be some hurdles to get there but once you're there this is what you can expect for your for yourself so i feel you've got beautiful future coming in and this is why lakshmi is here bright future okay all right cancer um the uh, love reading is following straight afterwards. Um, if you want to stay on for that, otherwise, you know, um, you can come back to it. There is a timestamp below. But um, take care and uh, don't forget to like and share or like and subscribe. And um, I will see you next time.